for today's video, we are going to be shooting the 80.5 grain burners out of a 223 Remington. First two shots will be reduced loads, simulating longer range. And I'll flip the locks and shoot a high velocity load. And it tumbled, tumbled a second time, and that's why it probably went all the way through my table. So that was a little too slow for expansion at 1,476. basically did the same thing just a little higher in the gel tumble second tumble exit to the side of the block instead of down so still not fast enough to get them to actually mushroom 1897 feet per second base I can tell by the weight of it probably still has just a touch of lead in it went clear up here separation of core the rest of the jacket so let's go ahead and get some measurements on that so that one was 2380 Trading inch and seven eighths before it looks like it started to tumble about the same spot the others did and had enough velocity to come apart and grenaded, giving good permanent wound cavity from the two and a half inch mark to eight and an eighth, then carrying some permanent wound cavity to almost the 11 inch mark where we have the leading edge of the larger portion of the core at 13 and 3 eighths and where that base continued to carry uh call that 19 and 3 eighths but it obviously came hit the table and just skimmed so i don't know if we you'd even consider that but Definitely get them moving fast enough, they will uh, grenade like most burgers do. And at lower velocities, extremely consistent in their tumbling. Which is what makes them a decent hunting bullet, because they are so consistent at tumbling, even though they 
do not tend to actually mushroom or come apart at lower velocities regardless of caliber. That shows incredibly well. The typical performance of a burger bullet. Nothing making it through the first block. That one was traveling 2,688. penetrating looks like it kind of tried to start to open up or something there by the inch mark carrying some permanent wound cavity to the three inch mark where it then really grenaded completely came apart carrying that good portion of the permanent wound cavity from the four inch mark to just past the 11 inch mark and the leading edge of the furthest chunk of that core is 13 and three quarters you can see that's just typical performance of burger bullets at higher velocity they just grenade into pieces lower velocity extremely consistent at tumbling which makes them overall not too bad of a hunting bullet i think these would as long as you kept your impact velocities high enough to not have to rely on tumbling would make a good overall varmint round or small to medium sized game. You know, if you're willing to rely on the tumbling, then, you know, you burgers are extremely consistent at tumbling at lower velocities, um, tend to get four to six inches of penetration, one if not two hard tumbles. And knock game down well i personally am not a fan of relying on a bullet to tumble but they do do a good job at it and have built a good reputation for dropping game because of it so hope you guys enjoy the video <laughs>